Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shape the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6036. Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures The Foundation is unable to directly contain SCP-6036. However, due to SCP-6036's self-containing properties, and the inability to discover SCP-6036 from non-anomalous sources, containment is not needed, so long as the Foundation continues to operate and humanity continues to advance. Description SCP-6036 is a holistic anomaly associated with insight. SCP-6036 is known to manifest after the intake of specific information, although this depends largely on external factors. SCP-6036 manifestations are negatively correlated with the following attributes. Higher social standing. Cultural context. Average access to technology. Specific or intimate knowledge of the anomalous, barring cultural beliefs. SCP-6036 can initially be felt as a migraine, followed by a combination of seizures, hyperventilation, arrhythmia, and eventual death. Discovery It was known that all anomalies have a non-zero chance of terminating any individual that perceives them. However, this was considered an underlying property of the anomalous until recently, when Dr. Jeremy Felia proposed an alternative hypothesis. He examined the rate at which SCP-6036 manifested, and found that higher clearance anomalies are more likely to induce SCP-6036. He also found that the rate at which SCP-6036 manifested decreased since the founding of the SCP Foundation in the late 1870s. Spikes in technological advancement also heavily decreased the rate of SCP-6036 occurring such as the invention of the first flying airplane in 1903 and the first satellite launched into orbit in 1958. Since the conclusion of the space race, SCP-6036 occurrences have decreased considerably, and typically only occurs as a result of specific anomalies possessing the ability to share omniscient or omnipresent information. These findings have since been corroborated in the following test logs. Experiment, SCP-6036-1 to October 21, 2021 Test Subject, Dr. Jeremy Felia, 50 years old, male Results, Baseline Test Dr. Felia was told about SCP-6970, as well as Site-12, both of which he had no prior knowledge of. No Effect Experiment, SCP-6036-5 to October 28, 2021 Test Subject, Maxine Graham, 77 years old, female Results, First Foundation SCP-6036 Experiment Involving a Civilian Mrs. Graham was told about the general activities of the Foundation and given access to two low-risk, safe-class anomalies. In summary, Mrs. Graham had suspected the existence of anomalies, but simply never pursued it. She was subsequently amnesticized and returned to the public. Experiment, SCP-6036-22 to November 2, 2021 Test Subject, D-20299, John Dark, 54 years old, male, Results, first deliberate SCP-6036 test that succeeded. D-20299 was given access to a clearance level 5 anomaly with no briefing. Up to this point, D-20299 was utilized for basic upkeep, none of which was anomalous. He was given free access to all documentation regarding the anomaly as well as ancillary documentation describing Foundation operations. D-20299 spent an hour and 12 minutes reading through the collected data and addenda. He begins frothing at the mouth during this, necessitating some interference in order to not damage the documents. The documents were forcefully pried out of D-20299's hand after he seizes up, and he succumbs to SCP-6036. Delta-T access required. Welcome. 
Experiment, SCP-6036-43-124 BC Test Subject, Barnabas Vesta, 34 years old, male Results, first foundation SCP-6036 experiment involving time travel. The subject is a Roman farmer known to have died from natural causes with 0.01 Lawrence variation, the minimum amount of temporal relevance without being anomalous. Subject was quickly taught how Cheetos are produced, and is given a sample, of which he consumes. SCP-6036 was immediately induced in the subject afterwards. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.